the Long Island Tea Podcast. I can't believe Three it. Three years strong. Three years strong. We yes. start every episode with saying, how you doing? How, how you doing? doing? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? We're at the Gurney's Seawater Spa. We're at the incredible Ohiki Castle. We are on the beautiful Shelter Island. At the Selfie Clubhouse. I mean, when do you get the chance to right. have Adventureland right. yourself? A taste of Long Island. We have Besito. Hi, neighbors. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Welcome back to Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea on living your best Long Island life. I'm Kristen. And I'm Sharon. Welcome back. Welcome back to you, to a big show. Yes. Whoa. I'm excited. Big time celebrity. I know. Interview today <gasps> with Countess Luann from the Real Housewives of New York, the OG. Incredible. Uh, can't wait to get into that interview, by the way, which was like, loved her. And I feel like we've had a lot of celebrities on the show. Yeah. Um. I, and I don't think anybody has created such a buzz in our office. Oh my gosh. Other than Countess Luann. So, well, People were yeah. losing it. That's so funny because half of our staff like came running in and they're like, literally, I just want to say hi. Literally. <laughs> can, can I just say hi to her? Can I just say hello? Can I, I, want, can I just say hi? I'm like, mm, she's so like, funny. hi. She's like, okay. No, she was she very was great. She was so nice and gracious. She's so positive and beautiful. Yeah, I know. We're going to gush on her the whole show, but she was so awesome. We're going to get into this great interview. You're going to learn all about Countess Luann from the uh, original Real Housewives of New York, as well as Crappy Lake, as well as her amazing cabaret show coming to the Paramount on March 16th. But first... Sharon, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, you just got back from vacay. Yeah, a little ski trip with Another my one? kids. Yep. Uh, it was fun. Was it as good as you remembered? Yeah. It was better the second time uh, than the first time? Well, I don't know. I'm, you know, all of a sudden, I think I'm a pro. You yeah. Know, a little, <laughs> like, you came back seemingly unscathed. Yeah. No. Not I, on crutches or anything. Nope, so. mm-hmm, not, not on crutches. Um, I went down the Black Diamond. Shut up. Which is not a black diamond. Where I go is like a very small mountain. Their black diamond is probably like a bunny hill at a, at a real mountain. <laughs> Are you kidding? You went down a black diamond. <laughs> Your second time skiing. Uh, it was funny. Yeah. We had a good time. You had good snow and everything? Yeah. It was perfect conditions. It was awesome. Yeah. Was Tegan great. went skiing. She How'd went she do? Loved it. Yeah. She had like amazing skis and they said it was literally the best ski conditions of the year. I think it's like the fresh snowfall. In yeah. The past week. It was snowing. It's so funny. Cause I think I'm a professional. So I'm like telling Dan, I'm like, so for Christmas, I want the whole <gasps> ski ensemble. <laughs> oh, you're going to get skis now. <laughs> He's like, do you know, you know how much that costs? Yeah. I can tell you. Um, cause Tegan, we rented them and she got brand new boots. Oh like my they took gosh. Them out of the box. Wow. And they were awesome. And I was like, how much are these? And he's like, well, they're like $400. Yep. But if you bring him, like if he's like, if you rent them and she likes them, we'll give you a discount. Oh, that's awesome. Which was great. But I was like, no, no. I mean, it's not no. Christmas. Right. And it's just the boots. Yeah. Think about the binding. Just, yes. Think about everything. But yeah. I was really talking about like the outfit. Oh, oh, the fit. <laughs> the fit. I mean, I can rent skis all day long. I don't right. care. But like, I want like real ski pants. What'd you real, wear? Like snow pants, you know, just. Oh, I got Amazon some, special. <laughs> I got some really cute ski pants on Amazon. Mm-hmm. They are they're, I'm not going to say it. I like the outfit more than anything. Yeah. To your point. Yeah, exactly. It makes a but difference. But he's so funny because he's like, you know, you could totally tell like who actually is a skier, like an avid skier coming down the mountain and who's not. He's like, you're wearing your sunglasses and you're wearing this. And, and I'm like, because I don't have goggles. Oh, girl, I had goggles. You should borrow them. <laughs> I got the goggles and the white yeah, helmet. See, that's what he I said. What, are you like, going to get a white helmet? Yes. Have one. Absolutely. You got to look like the Real Housewives yes, coming down a mountain. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, t- I'm telling you, it, the fit matters. Totally. <laughs> and he doesn't get it because he's a man. Like, no, he doesn't he get doesn't it. They don't, they don't understand. He doesn't care. Although Thomas has like these really cute, um, He he's, you know, Thomas is like a fashionista. So mm-hmm. he has like teal pants. Oh, I love pants. it. I'm like, I love it because I can spot him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Anywhere. I'm like black with the white. Yeah, you know? I love it. Yeah, it was so fun. Good. Yeah, was fun. And everybody had a good time. Everybody had a great time. Good. Fun. Um, we did because it snowed again, which was awesome this weekend. And um, so we did like nothing. Tegan was gone. It yeah. was basically Thomas, myself, and Finnegan. And Finnegan was like, When's Tegan coming back? He, oh, was, he was bored. bored. <laughs> he was like, uh, Being around with just you guys is, yeah. he's like, It's a lot. How is the couch? Uh, it's great. I love it. I mean, How's the covered, Ottoman? It's covered in blue. Ottoman's still there. Okay. But Why is it is like the, uh, doable? No. Okay. It's covered. Everything's covered in blankets. Right. Because I, 
I don't have plastic. If I can cover it in plastic, I would. <laughs> but I was like, I don't know how to get the plastic covers. But so I like have everything covered in blankets, and um, and then I take them off when somebody comes over. Okay, because I don't want the dogs to jump yeah, on them, or yeah. you know, I don't want anything muddy, muddy or dirty right, on them. Absolutely. So I'm like, no, we still don't have our piece. Ugh. And Thomas was like, okay, whenever you can get it. And I was like, you get back on that phone, right? To customer service, and you say. I paid for this. I waited my four to six weeks. It was delivered wrong. I don't care about your warehouse problem. Um, let's escalate this. Yeah. I'd like to speak Find to your supervisor. It. You're going to pull Karen on that. I went straight and he was like, <laughs> okay. And then he was like, I need to speak to supervisor. And the guy got on and was like, you know, 10 days. And Tom was like, okay, thanks. Perfect. Like, thanks. No, we want overnight. Listen, let me, I was like, I wanted to be like that IT meme. We're like, move. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Let me talk Let me to speak. these people Thanks. because I'm like, that's crazy. That you waited crazy. four to six weeks. You delivered the complete wrong thing. Yeah. How do you get it wrong? Ugh. Uh, anyway, so whatever. We're still waiting and it's a hodgepodge. But anyway, um, we did a lot of um, binge watching Ooh, things. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I discovered the, the new Amy Schumer show oh, called Life Oh, do you like Beth. it? Sharon, allow me to tell you the premise. Um, it's, it's great. It's Amy Schumer. Uh, it's all about Long Island. Oh, okay. She's from Long Island, right. as we know. And she talks, it, the whole show is on Long Island. Um, she, like, I guess kind of breaks up with her boyfriend in the city and comes back to Long Island where mm -hmm. she's from. And um, then she, like, she's a wine, some kind of somebody in the wine industry. So she goes to wine country and <laughs> falls in love with kind of like a quiet, quirky vineyard owner. I love it. Yeah. Thomas was like, are we good here with this <laughs> premise? Are we... <laughs> We're watching and he's like, oh, are we? Oh, we that's funny. Anyway, it was really fun. Oh, um, no, gosh, but it's so all funny. about Long Island wine country. That's and awesome. It's, it's, it's typical it a, Amy Schumer. So you got to know it's. Good. What is it streaming on? Hulu. Hulu. Okay. Hulu. Um, but it's great. It's Long Island everything. Long Island has been everywhere lately. And then I was listening to Smartless podcast yes, this week. Yes, I love them. This week it had Natalie Portman on there. Oh, fun. You know, I'm a big Natalie Portman yeah. fan. Uh, I watched her new movie. It's called like Made of December. Okay. Really cool, really good performances. Her and um, oh, who was the other famous actress? Redhead, amazing. Um, anyway, so I'm listening to her and Smartless, and Will Arnett is oh, one of the mm -hmm. hosts of Smartless, and he's like, and they're Jason Bateman. They're making fun of him, and they're mm -hmm. like, he goes, oh, when I was on Long Island, and they're like, I love how you say like you're on Long Island <gasps> when you're definitely. Your house is in the Hamptons, but you just won't say the Hamptons. That's so funny. You say like Long Island, like you're a man of the people, <laughs> you know, and he, he's like totally the Hamptons. And then it comes to Natalie Portman. She comes on and she's like, I'm from the real Long Island. I love okay, it. Okay. Actual Long Island. Yes. She's like, I grew up like in the malls. <laughs> she's like, I had, I'm that person that didn't go to the Hamptons That's until so I was like funny. 35. Right. Right. I, I was born and raised on Long Island. Oh my gosh. Didn't never had even been to the Hamptons until That's I was so like, funny. I'm like, we love, we loved her. I was like, yeah. this, it was like a Long Island love fest I everywhere. Love that I have to listen week. because I listen to Smartless. I, I know love you them. do. So I know. Funny. I know. It was kind of hilarious though. I was feeling the pain because <laughs> Natalie was calling in from her house in, um, LA, mm -hmm. although she lives in Paris now. And, um, she, right as they brought her on the interview, she's like, um, you guys, my computer says, it's like low battery. I'm trying to plug it in. Hold on. Uh, and then it died. Oh, no. And they had to like call her back. So and they're like, welcome back. And then that UPS guy's at her door. It's like, ding dong. And then she's like, hold on. I have to go sign for a package. And then it cut <laughs> off again. Oh, man. They were like, Natalie, maybe get like a house assistant, assistant that can do IT mm -hmm. and sign it's for funny. your packages. I mean, there's that's true real job. Like, yeah. Well, you can understand why the, the, the woman's doing it like. A yeah. major podcast. That's a huge, yeah. that's a huge national podcast. And, and she's, she's like cutting off constantly. Mm -hmm. They're having to call her back. They were like, anyway, <laughs> thanks for prioritizing this. It's hysterical. But she's a big enough star. She can be like, I'm busy. I got to go right. sign for my package. Sorry. Just wait for me. Yeah. Hang tight. <laughs> she's like, I love it. The UBS guys at the door. What do you want me to yeah, do? Yeah, exactly. That's funny. Anyway. So yeah, that was, uh, that was my week as I basically binge watched television. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I haven't really binged anything. Um, no. no. Uh, watch the new Fargo too, which was really good. Wow. With John Hamm. It was really great. I'd never watched any of the Fargos, but okay. Thomas begged me to watch it and I did. And then, and then 
And then Finnegan and Tegan were like, you finished Fargo without, wa-, you know, telling us. I'm like, when, when were you guys watching right? this? What, what happened? You You're back. Um, oh, and just started a new show because it's all I did because it was really relaxing, actually. Yeah, like, having snowy a weekend. Three-day weekend. Uh, started the new Jodie Foster, True Detective. Mm. Oh, I love this show. Did you ever watch the first I've two never seasons? watched. And then what I like about it is each season is totally different. different so mm-hmm. you don't have to have watched the first right. season. Right. I would say the first season, though, is the best. Is it Matthew McConaughey? Yes. Everyone talks about that. Yes. Or what do you call him? Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. <laughs> uh, let me tell you about Jodie Foster. Mm. All right. She's, there was like a, a scene where she's like just, you know, in her like lingerie or whatever. Uh, she looks amazing. She is amazing. She is buff. Mm-hmm. Here's me. Alexa. <laughs> How old is Jodie Foster? <laughs> what the heck? She's 61. What? She well, looks Speaking, I know amazing. we're like totally in celebrity, but have you seen Martha Stewart? She looks Stewart? incredible. She's like, they kept saying like a thirst trap, <laughs> but like she talks about it, like what, how important her, you know, views are to her. Like she wants people to know how sexy she is. Good for her. Yeah. Jodie Foster is bringing, I was jealous. I know. I was actually jealous. Yeah. I'm like, and her muscle tone. Mm. Her skin, I'm like, way to go. And she's also just cool. Well, and this is probably like a comeback for her, right? Like she hasn't been on That's anything what I said. for That's a long time. That's how you know time. it's good. I, yeah. I literally said, this is how you know it's good because yeah. Jodie Foster is giving her time to it. Yeah, exactly. It's like Natalie Portman. When they do a project, right. you should watch. Yeah. Because they can do anything they want exactly. or nothing oh. and be successful. So I don't know how we got into celebrity, but um, but we have this interview and um, we have the Countess Luann from the OG New York Housewives. And she's going to be at the Paramount um, in Huntington yes. on March, March 16th. 16th. And we're going to give away two tickets. I can't wait. To our hot teas. So uh, let's get to know Countess Luann. Okay, Sharon, I am so excited. I don't know, though. Our entire staff is losing their minds <laughs> that we have Countess Luann as, as our interview for today. So Countess Luann, yay, we're so Welcome. excited to have you. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> and I have to say, I think everybody on the team knows that I am a, a huge Louis fan. So I'm dying over your outfit. <laughs> you look oh, so you. and you're so gorgeous. Um, thank so you. we are so excited to welcome you. You are a Long Island, of course, regular. And you're coming back to the Paramount first and foremost on March 16th. Amazing show. We can't wait to we can't wait to see you. Oh, my God. It's it's going to be so much fun. Um, you know, really the inspiration for this show came from my audience because I uh, I do a Q&A with my audience and I always get asked this question, marry F or kill, yeah. um, you know? And so uh, I was really inspired by the audience. Um, you know, I have a new song coming out uh, for this tour. I love the so, uh, Can you tell us the name? Uh, yeah, it's it's marry F kill. Oh, is the name I love of the song. it. I love oh, it. I, that's perfect. Awesome. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. So, and you've been to you've been to the Paramount. I know um, several of our team members have seen you there. I mean, we're we're like we're there. We're the audience of your show. Oh, yeah, definitely. Times. So we're like everybody's raving about it. It is the most fun. Our um, our coworker Stacy's like I took my mom and Michael's with everybody goes and everybody dresses up and it's just a so nice classy glam and beautiful and happiness. Yeah, it's you know, it's 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 cabaret meets comedy, um, meets um, meets cabaret comedy and uh, you know music and all of it together. It's pop culture. Uh, I show clips, uh, you know, during the show of you know famous moments. Um, all the music is I pick myself. Um, and you know, I'll be covering, of course, money and chic. Yes. Um, and you play the bongos and sometimes you have, you bring on special guests. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I always say it's like, you're sitting on my living room couch, you know, and this is how I started doing cabaret. One of my best friends said to me, he said, you know, you love to tell jokes. You love to entertain. Um, and you love to sing for your friends. You should be doing cabaret. And that's really how I started. Um, and so it's just a really fun time. Um, and for the most part, you know, all the songs that I choose and pick, I uh, generally, everybody knows the words. So yeah. it's like a big sing along. So it's, it's very immersive. I've had, you know, fans come to my show from Beyonce and from, you know, Taylor Swift. And they're like, we had such a good time at this, but more fun than we've had at those <laughs> shows because, you know, you really feel like you're a part of it. 
um, you feel included. And like you said, people get dressed, they, you know, wear their sequins and they put on their statement necklaces. And I, I love that, you know, they really show up for me. I mean, I know you've been doing it for a while, but are you surprised at how much your your fan base, like mm-hmm. your show has taken off? I mean, it's, I mean, you did want, right? You did a, a tour, great. and But people are really begging for more. Does that surprise you at all? You know, I, I, I love it. It's, it's always, you know, it's when I fill the house up, you know, it's always, you know, astonishing to me. And my fans are so supportive. I always say I could trip and fall and they'd be like, oh my God, that was so elegant, Countess. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's adorable. So supportive. And I really feel so much love from the, the audience. And that's what I love about Cabaret. You know, you get to hear things that uh, you, you wouldn't know about me before. Um, you get to see me in a totally different light than what you see me uh on television Mm -hmm. uh you know housewives got 15 years i've been doing that show and you know now crappy lake yeah so i don't know if you grew up in crappy lake yeah so and and then sharon i know sharon i'm I'm like dominating this conversation (laughs) because i'm so excited but um so you're just for our hot teas because that's what our fan base is called that don't know i'm sure everybody does but you were the one of the og new york housewives um, and that kind of catapulted your career into all the different facets it is now. We actually had Sonia on right before you guys announced Crappy Lake. She was like trying not to spill the tea. Um, <laughs> that was and it was really awesome. That show, again, really heartwarming. Mm-hmm. Totally different from Housewives. And, you know, it was so great to be able to go to this town and help them after COVID. And, you know, and we did a lot of great things that are long lasting that uh, we left behind, you know, like helping with the, uh, the dog run for the, um, for the animal shelter and, you know, building a playground for the children, um, you know, doing a variety show with all the townspeople. So, um, you know, it was a really a great experience and, you know, a great way uh, to work because, you know, it was so different from housewives. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, and and it was how heartwarming the show. We got Paula Abdul to come and you know help the dancers and so um, really you know a show that I enjoyed doing and very proud of. But that was going to be one of my questions: is what was the inspiration behind that show and what made you decide to do that? Well, you know, uh, originally, so the producers of the Simple Life originally mm-hmm. are the producers of this show. Um, and the idea of the simple life came from Green Acres. You guys probably don't yes, remember. No, I remember that. I can sing Absolutely. the entire song. Right? <laughs> I can sing yes. it right now. <laughs> right? Green Acres. Uh, yes. I can no. I do the accent. I do all of it. Just so you know. I'll come on your cap. She's going to be, be your next surprise yes, guest. I'll be your yes. <laughs> so, so the producer has produced the simple life originally, and they produced all the Kardashians, and they came to Bravo, and they said, you know, who do you have for this? And... Out of, you know, I always say out of the 379 housewives, they picked Sonia and myself. So. Amazing. That's amazing. Awesome. And you know what I loved about Crappy Lake is that you you were basically promoting tourism. And that's mm-hmm. what we do. I mean, Des- Discover Long Island, we promote tourism to Long Island. Yep. And people don't mm-hmm. realize how important that is to a community and how putting them on the map. So you kind of were the tourism ambassadors for the for that community. Totally. And, you know, the, the motel now added another addition to the motel because oh, we're sold out for next year. Oh my wow, God, that's, that's huge. incredible. Because, you know, tourism yeah, brings a lot it. of money and creates jobs. It really is an important industry. And, and Absolutely. it's wonderful that you were able to experience that. Yeah, no, it, it's great. We, we had a muralist come who, who did all these murals so you can take pictures there now too. So it's become kind of a place to go now. Um, and the Sonia, Sonia and Luce, Luann suite are booked for next year. Oh, I That's love awesome. that. I love that. And speaking of tourism and places to go, I know you're a big Sag Harbor um, aficionado, right? Mm-hmm. You have a house there? Yes, I have my home in Sag Harbor. Um, I've lived out in the Hamptons for, you know, almost 30 years now. So... Um, so it, it, it's home to me. So that's why I love playing the Paramount because I love getting to see all my Long Island fans and I love Huntington. It's such a cute town. Oh, great. Um, and I love the Paramount. It's just such a yeah. great venue. So yeah, super excited to be back, uh, on the 16th of March. I'm and I can't be excited there. Now you do have special guests come on the show with you. Do you? Well, I used to have guests in my okay. show. I don't, I don't have guests anymore. It's all me because, you know, when I had guests, it's interesting because people would then, you know, get up to go to the bathroom or they would go and get a drink Uh or they'd be on their phone. We (laughs) noticed that 
they really came to see, see me you. and they yeah. really care that much about the guests. Yeah. So. Yeah. And you can fill the show. So that's awesome. Well, I have to say like, have you ever, cause we're always, you know, we're promoting tourism in Long Island. So what are your favorite Long Island places other than the Huntington? Do you ever go to like, do you ever hang out at Barron's Cove? Speaking of Sag Harbor, we or love that Fred place. And yes. Shelter Island. Yeah. Yeah, my 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 friend actually um, built uh, Barron's Cove, oh. um, and the Watch Case Tower, oh um, and I, he's an incredible guy. And so, you know, I love to go to the American Hotel. Mm-hmm. Um, I have my favorite place. I like to go to Pierre's in the in Hampton. I like to go to the North Fork. I go to, you know, I have a boat, so I go often on my boat to like to Greenport love and. It. Yeah, so I, I around- you're hanging out at Claudio's. Claudio's. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Well, I love having a, a Long Island like native that knows the destination and can talk about it. Um, we have a little game. Can we play a little game with you? Sure. Um, so we have a little game, and we, it's called because we start every show because we're from Long Island seeing how you doing. <laughs> um, so the game is how you doing or forget about it. Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, go ahead, Sharon. Okay. So Long Island pizza. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> I know. Like we, you were almost forget about it. Is that because it's fattening? <laughs> because it's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Okay. What else? Um, Hamptons during the fall harvest season. Oh, um, oh, what is the expression you're using? Forget, forget about, about it. it. No, I love or, it. How, or you, how doing? you doing? How you doing as you love it? How you doing? How you doing? Mm-hmm. That was it. Yeah. Because it's less crowded, right? I mean, you go during yeah. the off season mm-hmm. and you can have everything to yourself. Um, yeah, I love the fall up there. It's, it's really so one of my favorite times here. Oh, mm. same. Long Island, New York bagels. Mm, forget about it. Yeah, forget about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bread. Yeah. <laughs> Carbs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, and then last one, Long Island wine country. Uh, how you doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Long Island beautiful. wine. All those, so many beautiful wineries out there. Do you ever go to Wolfer and get summer in a bottle? Yeah, well, I, I've been to Wolfer many times. He was actually a really good friend of mine. And um, and the Channing daughters yes. also are friends of mine. Aww. So, yeah, they, you know, they've, they've really grown and, and really their wines have improved so much, I would say. I know, yeah. Um, Nationally, yeah. they're sold. I think you're yeah. totally right. People yeah. that have had the experience in the past and haven't tried it recently should come back and try Absolutely. it recently. Yeah. <laughs> it's so delicious. Um, okay, so yeah, totally. um, last question, Luann, because I know you're super busy. But so you just had the um, the girls reunion, the New York the, what's ultimate, it, the ultimate girls, girls trip. getaway ultimate trip. Girl trip. I mm-hmm. mean, what a gig in St. Bart's, <laughs> by the way. How do we how do we get part of that? <laughs> Uh, it was it was great you know i mean listen to go on vacation with all the girls and get mm-hmm. paid for it to go to st Barts is it's not a bad gig if you can get it right, right exactly absolutely. so it's hard to follow and, that but i wanted to put it like a bug in your ear like ultimate girls getaway hamptons potentially ultimate girls getaway hamptons well i feel like that they could send the og cast everywhere you know I, mm-hmm. i've been saying we should go on below deck. That would be hysterical. Oh um, my God. I love funny. this collab. That's brilliant. That would be wild. Right? <laughs> I know. That would be so much fun. Um, yeah. You know, the ultimate girls trips are fun because, you know, we, again, we had to talk about things that, you know, from the past and uh, things that you, you know, might not have understood before. We got to know Kelly a little bit better. Now the action verb. <laughs> <I> thought, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, talk about all those things from the past and a lot of reminiscing, a lot of, you know, um, footage that they pulled up from, you know, the many years of, of Housewives history, um, you know, got to break that fourth wall and talk about all those things. So it was really a fun trip. And, you know, some of these trips can be kind of dark. And I feel like our trip was like really just fun and, fun and light. there was mm-hmm. drama, but not crazy drama. And, um, you know, and I think people love seeing the OGs back together. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely. It, it did. It was just great energy. And, you know, I have to say, you ladies all look so amazing. You're so oh. beautiful. Mm-hmm. And, and and I'm sure everybody has a million secrets. Do you have any secrets to sustaining your just wonderful, light and beautiful energy? <laughs> well, you know, I just feel like, you know, when you're happy, that changes everything. Mm-hmm. I feel like you know, um, walking into the room with a smile on your face and, you know, uh, just having a good attitude and of course taking care of yourself and, 
you know, good genes help. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stay help. away from the bagels. Well, and I, I keep saying I have one more question for you, but I just have one more because I think all of the ladies, you know, have faced a lot of adversity, but I think you in particular too. I th- it's a crazy world out there right now, right? And there's a lot of negativity and you just said being happy and being positive. Mm-hmm. You know, do you do you have any advice or anything you can share about when you we've all been down and out? You know, but man, picking yourself up by those bootstraps and, and, and having the courage and the strength to not only go on, but like be better than ever. I mean, how do you, right. where do you dig that out of, or how, how many, how have you done that? Well, you know, I wrote a song about it. It's called Viva La Diva. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Viva La Diva. You know, cause we all have that inner diva and you know, it's when, when things get rough that that's when you have to pull her out and, you know, and stay strong and, and be fearless and and not be afraid. You know, I think, uh, I tend to run towards things that scare me. <laughs> um, cause I think that, you know, if you're not a little scared, you know, life is not worth living somehow. I mean, I feel like you have to challenge yourself that you have to, um, I think it's really important to challenge yourself and, um, change it up when things aren't working, you know, change it up, try something different. And, um, and, and, you know, we're we're always learning, you know, the minute we, you think you're ripe, then you're already rotten. I say, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I love all that advice. I do too. Yeah. And I think, you know, being interested in different things also makes you more interesting person. So, um, so yeah, pull up your bootstraps and keep it moving. Get up and show up. Right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, and it's, it's not being fearless, but it's embracing the fear and still moving forward. Right. Exactly. It's, you know, I, maybe challenge is, is a better word than fear, but, um, but yeah, when, when things get rough, that's when you have to, uh, you have to make that next step. Mm-hmm. Well, you are a really wonderful role model with that. I have to say, um, you know, for women and, and, and everyone, men and women, because yeah, it's just been really exciting to see your career continue to take different directions and thrive. And you bring so much happiness to so many people through all your different endeavors. So thanks oh, for that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You know, I, uh, I really do love cabaret and I think that you can see that. Um, and, you know, I always say people come into Toyota and they drive out in a Rolls Royce because they don't know what to expect. I love it. And I put on a great show. Um, I have a, a new director, Richard J. Alexander, who has worked with Kristen Chenoweth and Bette Midler and Barbara Streisand. Oh, so I have an incredible director and I have a great team of people that uh, that work with me and they're like my family. So, you know, we're, we're, we're going off to Boston next week. Um, and then I'll be in Connecticut at Foxwoods and then I'm going to be over in Long Island to see you guys. Ooh, we all right. Wait. March, 16th, March 16th. And, uh, just so you know, we actually have a giveaway. We're giving away two tickets to our hot teas. So you follow awesome. Long Island tea podcast on our Instagram and we're going to do a giveaway to your show as well as you'll see our entire staff there in the audience, like Jerry, <laughs> exactly. oh, your hype great. squad. <laughs> Cause we just, oh, love great. It. all right. Oh, thanks great. Luann. Can't wait to- ladies thank you so much for having me on i'll see you soon i really it was really lovely to meet you and i i do really admire all the great things that you've done and i love your outfit so much i know you're so beautiful bye love you girl thank Thank you you. bye bye michael thanks okay sharon first of all loved her she's so amazing if you're not watching on youtube Mm -hmm. she had the cutest you know you were like where did you get that i'm like probably louis vuitton well obviously yeah (laughs) or it's probably custom yeah it was like a black and it was black with little white lvs on it just on the top and the Mm -hmm. bottom was just solid black i'm like (gasps) when she sat down i'm like (laughs) how do i get that how do I get that outfit? Oh my gosh. She looks so great and just gorgeous and classy. And I'm telling you, I can't tell you, like we've done a lot of interviews and today people, Stacy and our team was like, I've been to her show. Everybody, everybody was running in Brie, Angelica. So Ed came back from lunch with his uh, fiance, Liza and was like, you need to call Liza. She's like, knows everything about Countess Luann. Oh my she God, wants to so talk to you. Funny. And she's like, let me tell you her favorite place. She plays the bongo. She does this. Her daughter's in visual design. I'm like, the way people you did, did you call Liza? Her. That's so funny. I did call Liza. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I was like, okay, what do you know, Liza? Spill it. Spill the yeah. tea. And everybody was super invested. I love this. What a cool thing. I hope people are like that with us. You think they're I, like that with us? I think so. 
eventually. <laughs> I have to say, like, I, um, I'm not a huge, you know, I'm not a huge reality show yeah. person, but like, just even speaking to her now in this interview, just her positivity, her her advice mm-hmm. on how to like stay young and beautiful and positive is just it and, was so and incredible. strong. I mean, because she's been through it. Yeah, you know, I mean, we all have. Everybody's like I said, everybody's faced adversity, but she, you know, she rises above every single mm-hmm. time, and. Um, that takes strength. It does take strength. And the fact that she has a cabaret show. Confidence. Like, that's hilarious. You would never Confidence. ever get that from her. Just, that's I mean, so I've funny. seen her on TikTok and it's awesome. It's so, f- it's, she's just got a fun vibe and she just goes out there and just has fun. Yeah. She's that's not trying way. to be perfect. No. She's not trying to be, you know. And she's got the fan base. Mariah. You know what I mean? Like, th- yeah. that's what she's, she's like, just having a good I time. I love coming to Long Island to see my Long Island fans. I know. She's got her house so in cool. Sack Harbor. She's like, oh, the Baron's Cub. I know everything about oh, it. My friend built it. <laughs> yeah. I know. She knows. Yeah, that's awesome. The Hamptons. Okay. And I loved her idea that the housewives should go on below deck. Absolutely. I would totally watch you, that. You heard that idea here first yes people so when that happens exactly you can thank the long island tea podcast That's so funny and me and jaren and michael for getting <laughs> for getting luann on the <laughs> podcast um okay so we also have a really cool taste, um, taste of, long of long island. island this is so incredible um the spread if you're watching on youtube is just like unbelievable i can't believe we got all this stuff um a sugared beauty bar black owned business is located in roslyn and they offer a ton of products like body and scrub Sugar Beauty Bar's original scrub is handmade by Serenity, the owner, in small batches made with just three ingredients, coffee grounds, grapeseed oil, and tea tree oil. It works as a moisturizer, and it's non-greasy, and you pat dry for best results. Uh, It smells awesome. We love this. I love the quality is the coffee, the coffee, (laughs) but you know what, you know, what's really cool about not only is it a black owned business during black history month, which we continue to want to feature and elevate, Mm -hmm. but she gives back so much. Her products give back. Did you know that? Um, I was looking at the notes that Michael gave us and it says that her exfoliating bars like Mm -hmm. that we have here and it smells so good. They actually support women's shelters across Long Island. So when you buy one of these, it's a buy one, give one. I love and that. And they give one to the women's shelters. It's so it. awesome. I love it. Yeah. They also have the the body butter. The, the butter. body butter. We love the butter. It provides skin with over 24 hours of hydration as it nois- nourishes your skin, leaving it feeling smooth and ultra soft. You can't go wrong with body butter. And that's made in small batches in Hempstead and the, um, the, the women's shelter exfoliating bars um, those are made in small batches in Beth Page, so they're all yeah. local. I love that. It's and that's it's amazing. Awesome. And the, awesome. the um, exfoli- exfoliating bars um, have no dyes or synthetic fragrances, so they're just made with essential oils for aroma. Yeah, Michael's like, um, we could do like we could do a giveaway. We're like, no, we're, we're gonna give it away this. to ourselves. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. I don't know. Exactly. I'm like, um, do you see this stuff? Oh, it's beautiful. This stuff is awesome. It's beautiful. Uh, I mean, honestly, but you can get it if you go to sugaredbeautybar.com. Go get it. Just go buy it. And, and her website is amazing. I just took a look at it right before we came on. It's yeah. so adorable. Yeah, she's she's fantastic. And again, we're excited. It's also uh, Black History Month as we round out Black History Month. Yeah. Um, it's also Black History or uh, Black Restaurant Week. Black oh, so owned, cool. black owned restaurant week now through, I think February 25th. That's awesome. Yeah. So you can go to discoverlongisland.com mm-hmm. and find out about that. Um, or go to, you know, our social media and you can find the link, but we are, uh, all about elevating our Long Island community. We sure are. And making sure we're celebrating uh, black history month. It was awesome. No. We had so many great guests we and did. products that oh we were gosh. able to, I mean, think about a few years ago, we didn't know you know, so many of these products and they're all such incredible quality and so amazing. And made by small businesses, local business, local people, you know, just trying to get their, their groove on and they are doing incredible. Yeah. And I loved all of it. I I wanted literally all of it. I was like, um, I I love, (laughs) remember all of it. it? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I can't stop thinking about her beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. So this was great. Thank you so much. One more time to sugared beauty bar. And go, go, just please go support them. And when you do, make sure you drop a little note that you heard about it on the Long Island on the tea. tea. And if you want to be featured on the Taste of Long Island, just email us at spill the tea at discoverlongisland.com or go to our social. Yeah. Long perfect. Island Tea Podcast. Perfect. Um, okay. So we've got some Long Island Life topics. Yeah. Uh, like our very own Michael and Brie featured in Newsday. Did oh you God. see that? So I loved I'm that. I'm flipping through 
my Sunday news day, mm-hmm. the, 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 like, you know, entertainment section, yeah. full page, full page pic. picture. And I'm like, there's Michael and Brie, I like just, at yeah. the, the Hogwarts uh, yeah. pop-up bar Ca- in Farmingdale. Capturing content. Yeah, uh, they were for there. Discover Long Island Social. I loved it. That must have been like totally attended wild because people who are Harry Potter fans <laughs> are like legit fans. Yeah. I right. told you that experience. I think, like, I think that I think Michael, tell me if I'm correct. The when you're like a super fan, you're a stan. Oh, it's called a stan. I this, didn't know this that. This is some that lingo for like, you. Oh, like you're a stan for everything. Yes, I love this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Super fan. Super fan. Right? Isn't that what it means? Yeah. Super fan. Yeah. Stan. But why the stan? I don't know. Because anyway, right. it, it's, it's originally from stalker. Stalker fan. Oh, like funny. you're such a fan. Okay. You're a stalker. You're a stan. Okay. Look at you dropping. Listen, dropping that tea, <laughs> that it. teenage tea uh, that I hear in my house all the oh time. Oh my gosh. It's That's crazy. So crazy. Uh, so this Hogwarts Hall pop-up bar with unique social events is open now through March 3rd. Yeah. And, uh, and, and Michael and Brie were like the stars of it, which was awesome. I love flipping open Newsday and seeing like our, our team, team out there being featured because we're everywhere. Yeah. People are like, uh, I don't know if you're coming to my community. I don't see you. I'm like, we're literally everywhere. Open Newsday. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. So um, what else is going on in Long oh Island? Oh my goodness. Huge, huge, huge thing. NHL all-star game. It yeah. is going to be at the UBS Arena in 2026. This is huge. Uh, it, well, everything's here. I know. Like literally everything's These coming. These next couple of years, like, here. Uh, it's, I can't even, I'm going to blur. Long Island is repping. Did you, you were gone, but I don't know if you saw, but a big, a big Long Island uh, story this weekend, other than everything else we've been talking about, like podcasts and Amy Schumer and all that. Um, did you see that a plane landed on the Southern State Literally, Parkway? I was coming home from skiing. <laughs> did you and, see it? Yeah. You saw the plane. Saw isn't that what? And, and so my kids are like, <gasps> was that you happening? driving behind the plane? Not, the footage? We, it had already landed, but like it was unbelievable to see like the this was just on the side of the road. Yeah, it literally you drove like, by the plane, <laughs> drove by it. And Dan's like uh, telling I mean, we were not. I should, he was like, you, you can't park here. <laughs> So funny. But no, it was, uh, thank God nobody was hurt. Yeah. Um, it's just they a little two passenger plane, two passenger plane. Um, that's why know. we're, that's why we can laugh about it yeah. is because everybody's fine. Yeah. Everybody's fine. No, you know, he didn't have any cars. Like he was just an emergency landing, but the amount of police force and fire trucks that showed up to can't this. Imagine. Everybody wanted to see it. I'm sure. Everyone's I'm like, sure. State I gotta go troopers, see this plane. County, I'm a Southern state. Police. I have pictures, but not video. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. His, his wing just like snapped. It was, I think that's what it was. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So um, other Long Island news. But like this is yeah. funny. I'm not saying Go ahead, funny. No. But like you talk about cars just driving into buildings yeah, all the time. Now like planes. planes just landing on the just parkway. Just landing on the <laughs> southern state. And you can see the cars. The best part is in the video that they showed on mm-hmm. News 12. You can see the cars and it lands right in front of this car. The car is not stopping. Still driving. Still I driving. Like, what? The car's like, nope, you're not messing with me. Nope. I'm not moving Get over out of for the you. Way. Get That's out of the way, so plane. Funny. That's a typical Long mm-hmm. Islander. Like, no, I'm not. I'm not even going to slow down for you, plane. No. Get out of the way. Yeah. That's Just funny. Pull off to the side. That's crazy. <laughs> you know. Uh, and other Long Island news. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed to say that my <laughs> sectional is still on the curb. <gasps> When's your big garbage day? <laughs> so now day? I don't know what to do. Do you have a big garbage day? I don't they, know. When they come and take like the furniture. Like, I don't know. But now I feel like my neighbors 100% hate me. Yeah. They're like, yeah, now, you're... <laughs> now I've got like legit. There's been a sectional oh, yeah. in front of my house for a week. Oh, yeah. So I've got to find a solution. Another people. Long Island news. <laughs> I was, Curb alert I was is like, still there. Listen. Yeah, I drove by. I wouldn't want it. That's There's, so funny. Uh, the, well, now it, it's been through two snowstorms. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny because I told my dad, I'm like, it was covered with snow. And he's like, well, that might actually help it. It's gonna wash. <laughs> Give it's it a little wash. Stuff oh my god, that's <laughs> funny. And now, and now it's all like, my, you know, the cushions are like, no one's gonna pick it up no, now. No. So it's literally got snow oh, on it. No. I'm like, okay, well, can someone just now just take it away to the garbage? <laughs> take it to the dump. One more week. We're gonna post about it. You've got one more week to get your. Car. Yeah, you've got that's one more so week. Uh, Michael's gonna post about it. You, just drive down. I don't even say that I want to tell the road, no, but, no. uh, but it's, you know, if you see a, 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 a giant sectional, Thomas put a little sign on it and it was like, take me home. I'm sturdy. And then Tegan went out and like posed on it. <laughs> She's like laying on it. <laughs> you know, it's a so whole funny. like neighborhood oh, no. situation. Um, a, another funny Long Island story that's kind of wild, um, that struck me this weekend was, did you hear that 
two people stole six hundred and forty dollars worth of hot ice cream. What from the 7-Eleven. are you doing, and where are you going with that? Also, like how? I mean, how many pints is that? I was like six hundred and forty dollars. Yeah, it's, it's definitely expensive. like six dollars, seven dollars a pint. It's expensive. So, but w- they store that much in the cold box. Like, also, I feel like you'd have to dolly that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. think they were just unloading it and they like stole it from a doll? Like, how do you, how do you, how do you do that? And why? What are you, where are you going with all that That's ice cream? A lot of ice cream. I have to say, when I was pregnant with Brayden, like I ate a pint of Hagendos every night. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, so, so I'm a big Ben and Jerry's person yeah. and Thomas bought Haagen-Dazs. The reason it's in my head, he bought, cause I like a cookie dough mm-hmm. ice cream. He bought Haagen-Dazs over the weekend and I was like, never, ever buy this again. Oh. It, it was mm. delicious. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. going to say it was, it was superior level. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Which one's the one that does the funny names? Is it Ben and Jerry's? That's Jerry? Ben and Jerry's. Oh, okay. Then no, I ate Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's is good. But I got to tell you, Haagen-Dazs brings the mm-hmm. cookie dough ice cream. And then I saw the story. I'm like. I, f- I get it. I kind of get it. <laughs> I was like, I understand. $640. The I mean, the I theft. feel like that would take multiple trips. Yeah. And how many people like, I'm Two again, people. I really want to know where you're going with this. And how do you load? How do you, do you carry that out? And where, mm. what are you doing with it? I don't know. What are you doing with that? I don't know. It's I mean, it's, uh, listen, I have so many questions about that story. I wanted Just to talk to know. you about it. <gasps> I was like, what is going on? Um, so what else happened? So then, so, you know, I was in Phoenix like a, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And, but this past weekend, president's weekend was Kenzie's actual like sorority mom's mm-hmm. weekend. But I told her, I'm like, I, I can't come cause I'm going to be there. And I had to be there for the conference and I needed to be there for the Phoenix open stuff right. to like get videos and see the sponsorships. And so I'm like, I have to be there that week and I, and I'll see you and we'll go out. I can't be there for mom's weekend. You know, no big deal. Well, fast forward to mom's weekend. It's just me and one other mom out of all the moms that couldn't be there. Aww. So it was a big deal. Yeah. It turns out. And um and I was just like being guilted like you can't believe. Yeah. She's Aww. FaceTiming me. She's uh there's a boy in the picture now. Oh. Oh, you didn't spill that tea. <sighs> there's a boy in the picture. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she wouldn't introduce me to him. It was too new when I was there. Okay. But apparently all the other moms no she's like, we're all gonna go meet him. Um, they're all the other That's moms are really excited to me. Mm-hmm. She was just raking me over the coals Aww. with the guilt and I was feeling so bad. So Thomas was like, Oh, what can we do to cheer you up, honey? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe I need some martinis. <laughs> and he was like, like a, like a Cosmo. And I'm like, no, our friends, the martinis, Aww. I need the martinis. So this is classic. These are our good friends. Yes, you know, yeah. this is class. This actual happened. Okay. So Thomas immediately, it's like Saturday night. It's like probably seven something. Mm-hmm. He calls Luis Martinez. He's like, hey, uh, and Lu- he just picks up the phone. This is how Luis picks up the phone. We're at the corner. Are you coming to us or are we coming to you? I love that. And by the corner, they mean the country corner. Yes. And Thomas is like, we're having a crisis over here. You got to come to us. He's like, we're on our way. I love that. We're on our way within within five minutes. I love They're it. They're like, what's up? And then their daughter, Ace, uh, was driving them because she can drive like mm-hmm. designated driver mm-hmm. and she's so she's like at the country corner hanging out at our house and then i was like we're pouring wine having a good time i'm like i'm so glad to see you guys and he's a friend and ace is like we have a 7 a.m flight oh my gosh out of LaGuardia tomorrow they're going skiing oh my gosh everybody else on the planet but me <laughs> and uh we're just pouring the wine she's like we need to go pack it's funny when your kids start to be like they're Mom, the parent. Dad, yeah. Oh my gosh. Put down the wine bottle. That's so funny. Let's go pack. And go, anyway, they, they were great. They made it. But I was like, that's good. Those are good friends. Those are good friends for sure. The like, Long Island community. Yeah. You know, we yeah. got to be there for each other. I love that. We're at the corner because like that was like the whole. We're at the corner. You come in here. We go in there. Yeah, what's what's it going to be? Mm-hmm. So like cute. you got to come here. They're like on our way. Yeah. There, there was like no cars. Like click. Yeah. Didn't See, ask and what then was going five on. minutes later, they show up. I love They're it. They're like, hey, what's up? Oh, we're breaking out the charcuterie. <laughs> I know. And then it was fine. Yeah. And then Kenzie called and we were FaceTiming. It was fun. Aww. And they were like, we're here. And so like, question, do you get to meet him? I don't know. We'll see how long it lasts. All right. We'll see how long it lasts. Well, and I think it's more or less like she's being protective. No. she's. I think she was nervous at first. Well, yeah. I mean, protective of like, she wants to make sure it's the right thing before she, he is introduced to her mom. Yes. She's you like, know? that's major. That's major. It's major. Introducing to mom. Is, and plus, I think she's nervous about yeah. my opinion yeah of course but all the, apparently all the other moms gave thumbs up okay all so right. 
more to come on that. But I this is it. like a big deal. It is. That's a big deal. It's stressful. I know. Anyway, Aww. but it's good. It's good. It's right. It's, you know, life. Yes. It's good. Proud of her. Oh, that's so awesome. that was the big deal. Uh, what else happened? Um, uh, so I guess Brie, when this airs, Brie's going to be uh, in doing something with the Destinations International. She's yeah. going at the marketing summit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's going to be representing Long Island at the it. DI convention. Um, and then oh, we talked about the single engine plane. Oh, but wrapping up Black History Month, um, be sure to visit places like the Southampton um, African American History Museum. Uh, this is the first African American site to be historically designated in the village of Southampton mm. and the first black barbershop to be transformed into a museum in the entire country. Okay, that's cool. Amazing. Because barbershop culture is like, Big. it's like legitimate in the, in the black community. Yeah. And that is so cool that it was an actual barbershop that yeah. was transformed. I didn't even know that. I didn't either. I'm like, that's such an awesome tidbit of information. I, it really is. That's awesome. So um, we've got a lot going on with Long Island life. And I'm very excited that we had Countess Luann on. I kind of, I kind of want to go. I want to go to her show. Oh, definitely. I see her on TikTok. Yeah, and um, she just seems so lovely. Like the show looks so classy and fun and hilarious. I know. Um, do we want to talk about a few things happening this weekend? Oh, sure. Okay, let's talk about a few things happening this weekend before we wrap up, just so you can plan your best Long Island life. Yeah. So um, Friday, March first, the Patchogue Theater is an evening with Myra Sorvino and a screening of Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion. That is classic. I love. That. Mira Sorvino, um, she was in that show that I watched with Courtney Cox. Remember I was telling you it was really weird? Yes. Uh, and, uh, oh, God, Greg Kinnear. Mm -hmm. That was a wild show. That's it was a wild so, cast to put together. It was great. And yeah. Mira Sorvino was awesome. Yeah, that's She's awesome. She's a really, really interesting, cool I actress. I love the Patchogue Theater because they do a lot of these. They had John Cusack there yes. with the screening of um, High Fidelity, I think it was, or something. We were just talking about this. I was just talking to a legislator about this the other day, and, and he was like, what do you think people don't know about Long Island? What do we need to let more people know about it? And I said, I think the fact that the entertainment that we have here, oh, yeah. we're always talking about, it's not just a place to go to the beach. There's there's celebrities everywhere. Everywhere. Constantly. I mean, you, you, you like, Countess Half of them Lan, live here. They're all, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're like, they're all fighting over who lives here, like yeah. Natalie Portman and everyone. They're like, oh, when I was at the, when I was on Long Island, I mean, they know so they're funny. everywhere and yeah. all over Long Island too, not just the Hamptons, which I love. I love it. Uh, the Long Island Explorium, uh, Night at the Museum on March 1st. And then the Parish Art Museum, Simone Vega, Tropical Space Castaways is celebrating their 125th anniversary. Yeah, I just heard that. The Parish Art Museum is 125 years old. Yeah, that's incredible. But they have a, the building is brand new. It's, it's like, so beautiful. It's like a redone or remodeled or yeah. something like that. It's really, really cool architecture. It's a beautiful building. And it's out in, um, is it Watermill? It's, is it, uh, yeah, I think it's in Watermill technically, but it's out in the Hamptons. East Hampton, yeah. It's, the art there is, it's just gorgeous. All right, thanks. Um, so Saturday, March 2nd, Sands Point Preserve, the Wilderness Survival Series. Yes, and one of our favorite places, Curry Club at Sagar. Oh, we love her. I love her. She's doing uh, the putt and pub crawl. So fun. Oh, my God. And yeah. then March 3rd, Sunday, is brunch with the bunny. Oh, we're talking Easter yeah, already. I was like, uh, like what? what is this? Why is there a bunny? But leave it to the Village Idiot Pub in Lake Grove to have the Easter bunny. I, I was literally like, why is there a bunny? I know. And then Michael's like, oh, because Easter's March, March 30, 30th, 30th, 31st. 31st. I'm like, what? We're already in Easter? Mm -hmm, like, we mm -hmm. just skipped right over I know. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. I know. We're and just the leprechaun. Easter bunnies. I know, but it's like, you know, Christmas. As soon as Halloween's over, we skip over Thanksgiving. Right, I guess so. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, Suru Wines, the international chocolate cheese and wine pairing. I love. Mm -hmm. March 3rd. Yep. And the mansion at Glen Cove has breakfast. You love this. Breakfast I love with this. The I really want to do this. You, you should go. I know. With the girls. I know. I have to make a reservation, but it's like, I have to do it. Yeah. Because they would love so, it. That's so mm -hmm. great. They're going to love that. And then we talked about this already. Story time under the stars at the Vanderbilt Museum. I think such a fun thing to do. Oh, and one more thing that Michael wanted to let us know about. Did you hear? It's so funny. Speaking of like celebrity stars, um, mm. we've talked about this before, but now Jersey Shore's Snooki and Jersey Shore, uh, New Jersey housewife, another the Jersey housewife, Melissa Gorga. Um, they both opened stores in Huntington. Uh, what's Huntington's the place to be? Huntington huh? is popping. I love with the it. Celebrity I love it. with the with the reality stars. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, you just go there, you're gonna see all this, all the all reality celebs. stars. I really want to go to Snooky's store though. Like it, 
She's girl, I, I feel like Snooki's store is going to be you. <laughs> yeah. You so, with the leopard and the black. Yeah. I, I could totally see you thriving in there. Go. Well, I gotta we go. should go there. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll go there before we go to Countess Luann's show. I love it. Uh, and we'll go to Pasitos and we're going to get some marks. Mark. Today is actually National Margarita Day. I know. Day, um, the day we're airing. And so maybe we should go today. Who knows? We have a I TikTok. Use I mean, oh my <laughs> gosh, it was awesome. Oh, we have Did a TikTok? you see the TikTok no, on no, National no. Margarita Day? It no. came out awesome. It was oh at Pasitos. I love it. Okay. All right. Well, make sure you are following our social media. All of our TikToks, our Instagram, following all of the 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 stores that we were talking about um, and leave us a five-star review. Always good to leave us a five-star review. And again, yeah. if you buy any of these products that we're talking about, let them know you heard it from us. Yeah. Let them know you heard it with it from the T. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Cause it's important. All right. Thank you so much. We are going to be back. We'll see you next week. See you next week. The Long Island Tea Podcast is brought to you by Discover Long Island. For exclusive access to contests and promotions, follow the Long Island Tea Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And for questions, comments, and collaborative inquiries, email spillthetea at discoverlongisland.com. <laughs>